as the suspended prime minister of Pakistan. This is nothing new in the history of our country because I am the fourth suspended prime minister in the last eight years. But it is unfortunate that the dream that the people of Pakistan had in 1993, that we had at last secured a democratic future for ourselves by electing a president on a platform of being against the dismissal of assemblies was brutally shattered. It seems that power is such an intoxicant that people who sit on the chair forget that the masters of their destiny are the people. And nobody is an Amir al who has a right to decide the fate of a nation. Mr. Farooq Lekhari himself has sat by me like these colleagues and condemned the dismissal of assemblies. And Mr. Farooq Lekhari has broken his pledge with the people of Pakistan, his solemn commitment with his leader, myself, his solemn commitment to the people of Pakistan, who are the trustees of God. He has broken his commitment with the trustees of God by breaking the assemblies. He had no right to do this. He was opposed to it for 20 years. He was elected on a mandate that he would never dismiss a government. And he has broken the solemn pledge. We in Pakistan believe that government is a trust of Almighty Allah to be exercised by his people. And he has broken the trust of Almighty Allah. And I leave his fate in Allah's hands. I have always believed in the justice, in natural justice. I have never held any rancor in my heart for any who did took any steps against me. And I hold no rancor against Mr. Farooq Lekhari. I took a man who was my number two, and a very good number two. He had no vision. He was no great strategist. But he was a very good implementer. So when I gave him a task, he was good at implementing it. But unfortunately, when I elevated him, and gave him this high honor. And my allies elevated him and gave him this high honor. He began to think that he had got there on his own when he had not. So I express my deep disappointment that a man can tear up 20 years of his political struggle, break his covenant with the people of Pakistan, break his trust with Almighty Allah, and drive the knife into the heart of an assembly just two months before Pakistan celebrates its golden jubilee, just four years before we enter the 21st century.